Hey guys, how are you going? Today I want to talk to you about the flower mower. Really worked on the flower mower fairly hard. We've got our, you can pull it forwards and backwards, which is something unique to us, and that's only possible because it's electric. Um, and so with that, you can do it like now, because I'm doing, I got all this rubbish here in the in the farm, got to get rid of. With the roller on the back, it gives you a really stable, even cut. Um, and then you can spin that around, and then we can go and, and clear, you know, lantana or bush or, or whatever whatever's out there. That then makes it less stable, but it then um, opens up the front to clear before you drive over it. So I'll jump in here, I'll show you how it goes. And there's one other thing we can do with our flower mower. Um, we can drop it down and we actually touch it into the dirt and that gives it the capacity to then chop up them roots and to take them roots out. I try not to go too deep, it does wear out the blades fairly, um, well, reasonably quickly. Uh, I suppose, you know, 100 hours or 200 hours, they start losing the edge on them. But um, they still work, you know, you can replace the blades. But for us it's worth it because it knocks, it actually kills the weed because it takes the top of the root ball off it and then the roots that are in the ground just die off in the ground. Anyway, I'll jump into it right now, and I'll um, and I'll chop up these uh, these weeds. Then with a zero turn, we're going to spin it in a circle, turn my speed down, hard left, and then forwards. And you can see it does the work. And I'll come back and do a second cut on the second side. That's pretty well taking the whole top of the bed off, so it's 780 wide. That's wide enough to take the whole top of the bed off, but we've got weeds in our walkway, so we'll hit them as well while we're going back. You can see we left a beautiful pass there. Everything's completely mulched up. When we when you mulch with the lettuce and, and your Asian vegetables, it leaves a lot of water on there. So um, I'll leave that die off now, because that'll dry up probably the next, I don't know, three, four days a week, depending on the temperature. Summertime, it'll only be a day. And then I'll go through and cut the soil. Otherwise, it's just so much moisture from them weeds and lettuce left in the soil that it, um, it, it just cakes up on the thing. So we're going to jump over to a bed here that I've done a week or two ago, where it's all pretty well dead. You can see some of the roots are starting to grow again. The weeds are coming from the roots. And I'll show you, I'll drop that down and we'll cut through it. So I'm just going to get this here. Really cool system we've got. You just pull it back. That slips it out of the lock and then drop it down. I've dropped it down two there. So we're probably going to have about a 30 millimeter drop into the ground. Um, they're 25 millimeter slots, but we weren't touching with before. It's about 10, 15 mil above. We've dropped it down. Um, that extra bit and so it's going to cut just into there 20 30 mil which will get all the root balls out something pretty cool about this uh new Clydesdale is we've got shuttle shift so right hand forwards and left hands reverse um i i come to really handy when i'm going through if by chance i'm not watching and i skew off to one side i can all of a sudden just chuck it in grab a hold of my left hand and then it reverses and then let go right hand and then we go forwards again and now we'll jump into it here and I'll show you how I do it. I typically offset to one side because then that's a bed that was finished. I won't even power harrow that. I'll do a power harrow maybe with three or four flips. But typically I just used um, the flower mower to leave a really nice tilt on top, which I was then seed into. So I'll put it to the side. Okay, and you can see there, 
where it's then turned it into dirt, so it's turned into the ground. We've only gone down really shallow, so like I said, 20, 30 mil. Um, and I didn't mention before, but I run it at about half speed, and I just go a bit slower, so we're not wearing them blades too hard. Just chopping up them top of them roots, and it's really good for that. Okay, so we're gonna turn the Clydesdale, the flower mill around on the Clydesdale, so you can see what's going on here. You can see it's perched right, right up now, and these blades are way off the ground. Um, so that's why it's got so many adjustments on it. So we can drop it down a little bit. I'm not going to because I don't know what's in here. Um, I don't know if I've ever mowed in here, so it's a bit untamed. We'll just clear a bit so you can see what's going on. Now it's fairly heavy on the front, and because it's got the wheel way back there, it's going to amplify the movement. So to take the weight off it, what we'll do is we'll open up the battery box. Now with this configuration we're going to be driving in that direction exclusively, so we'll unlock the, the handlebar, flick it around, and then pull it forward and lock it in. Take the handlebar up, and we're going to reverse the steering mode as per standard. You might have seen this in other videos, but just in case, you can see it now. So now we can um, turn our speed down. Start the flower up. Bit of vine there is just pulled in. I just start him up again. Shuttle shift comes in really handy. So left finger reverse, right finger forwards. Instead of and it is flicking around and stuff. Super super simple. So That's a bit of a deeper dive into the um, farm world, guys. I hope that's informative. Any questions or or ideas or whatever, just leave them down in the comments section and we'll get back to you. Uh, also, let us know if you want to deep dive on any other of our implements. We're going to be putting a couple out uh, in, the, in the future as, as time goes. But if there's anything specifically that you want to see or implements you want, drop them down in the comments section, eh? Thanks for watching, guys.